Hey guys, this is Exile. I'm. This is actually my third take now since the first two failed. Uh, I'm, if it doesn't work this time, I'm just not gonna bother with the video. Uh, I was uh, taking a look at some of my old videos and I stumbled across the chart edit videos again. Uh, that old charting program that I abandoned a while back. And I realized I didn't really explain the arpeggiator very well, so I'm going to explain that along with a few other things of the program. So you can see the code right here. So this just mess. The part of the reason I quit was because I really designed this, made a lot of bad design choices throughout it, and it's getting hard. To, it got really hard to manage. So let's build this and hope it doesn't crash for me doing something. Main, the main thing that you can cause make it crash with is uh, resizing the window because it'll resize the rendering control, and it's the render method is uh, on, runs on a different thread than like the main form. So resizing it like and it doesn't lock them either when it does it, which is why it can crash. So bad things basically so let me just play this real quick let me uh, just delete some notes real quick just so I can show what we're do what we can do here so you can use the keyboard to move up and down like feedback, so this is moving with a quantization of one. I don't know if that's the right term, but that's what I'm going to use. So, obviously with regular notes, you can just place them like this, you know, whatever you want to do. But, let me delete those. Obviously, you normally wouldn't just delete them by clicking them, but... This, that's a debug feature. Uh, okay, arpeggiator, this thing over here. Uh, one of the things that always annoyed me is uh, having to make patterns like this. Like, just like having to press that over and over again, or just selecting and copying and having to paste it over again. So, one of the things I found in FL Studio when I was making was like arpeggiators where it was something like you could like just press a few keys down and would uh, go through patterns like ascending scales de or descending scales for, for you. And I thought that would be a useful feature if like a program like Feedback have that. So, I like put my own version of that in this. So, if we, uh, for example, want an orange, like yellow green zigzag, I can just press orange, yellow, green, yellow, and go through it, and what do you know, we have an orange, green zigzag of any length we want. Now let me shrink this all again so I can delete it pretty quick. And accidentally resize the footboard while I'm at it. The other feature, uh, the other feature I was uh, going to mention briefly is uh, the hammer-on pull-off flipping, which is a real pain in the ass because in feedback, if you ha have the a note out of the normal range, it'll actually make it crash, which is really troublesome. So. Right here, we could see just a simple, like, ascending scale. Now if I press 6, which is the note past orange, it'll place this gray note over here. And you can see this is now a hammer-on. I can place it on the blue, turn that into a strum. All these right here. And there you go. Like, just like that, you uh, you can force strumming or hammer-on pull-offing, whatever you want to call it. So, that's basically the features I wanted to clear up for chart edit. There's probably some other ones I can't remember right now, but I don't care too much. 
but yeah, you can do that. You can make chimneys, uh, quad chimneys, anything you want as long as like you just press the notes you want and just advance it like a sustain. I'm probably not going to continue this project. I'm, the reason I'm showing it mainly is because I'm going to be making a new program that hopefully won't take nearly as long. Uh, I wanted to make a star power path optimizer because it was a problem I was thinking about during my programming class how to solve it. And my conclusion was that it's a pain in the ass to solve that problem. Uh, I came up with a method, so we'll see how hard it is to implement it, but people should be able to get uh, optimal charts or optimal star power paths for custom charts since everybody who's developed a star power path optimizer has never released it like let alone the source code so I'm going to be making just a simple C sharp open source or possibly C++ uh, program to uh, optimize star power paths. The next video I put up is either going to be of that program which is probably more likely, or uh, a new song. So with this new song, I'm actually going to be working on it with a another person, so we'll see how that works out, whether our styles clash or work together or what, but it should be, it's going to be a co-op type song, kind of like, I want to say like Solus, but I really don't want to look at that because I hate that song, but a fun co-op song, uh, and hopefully nice sounding. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, until then, I'll talk to you guys later.